One thing I recommend with new Bernina owners, especially with a 480 model, is time to take the time to sew out all your decorative stitches. But I'm gonna show you a super easy way to do that so it doesn't, uh, it's actually more fun, tell you the truth. Now, we do have an online course called Stitching Cosmos, and you will find a link below this YouTube video where you can watch a free lesson of what it's about and how and why you wanna make a stitch stitch book. Stitching out all your decorative stitches is going to help you get more familiar with your machine. It's going to let you see all the cool stitches you actually have. And what I want to show you is instead of stepping on your foot control and having your foot always holding this down while you stitch, 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 you can use the start stop button. When the light is green, now if you push it, nothing happens. But if you push and hold it, for just a little longer, it will start. I am not stepping on my foot control right now. I'm actually just letting the machine sew. If this is too fast, use the speed control and find a nice speed for your stitching. So some people kind of call this a little cruise control. And then when I want to finish the decorative stitch I'm doing, use your pattern end and then it will finish the stitch and stop. So I'm gonna just bring the needle up and show you that I'm right at the end of the pattern. Now it was right at the end of the pattern when I pushed it. So it only went two more stitches and then finished. If it was in the middle, it would have finished it right off for me. But you know how easy it is to then just go ahead, pick your next decorative stitch, put the foot right next to the last one, pick the stitch, lower the presser foot, touch and hold the start stop button until it starts. And then again, go ahead and stitch for the length. I usually like to do about four inches. That really gives you a nice amount of uh, repeats to see how big the stitch is. And again, you can speed it up as you sew. I really like to use stabilizer below my fabric and then save each of these. You, there's multiple ways that you can kind of keep all your decorative stitches close by as a nice reference point. So just remember, go ahead and take a look at our online course called the Bernina Stitching Cosmos. Uh, we'll link right up here to that course as well, and you can learn more about it by watching our Stitching Cosmos video.